Hey guys, it's website. So this fish uh, video is like um, I'm doing this video because of like just my favorite fish, Monoda agentus or something like that. It's called silver moony fish in uh, in 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 Asia, Southeast Asia. So uh, what about this fish? I studied a lot about this fish and I didn't find anything. You know, uh, uh, even though I also go to the chat GPT, uh, you know, AI system, they also can find a lot of information about this fish. So I brought this fish, you know, last, you know, over here. So last three months ago, and I'm raising it. So I have so much experience about it, and I, I I'm thinking like, why not sharing it to all the people over here in internet? So yeah, so this fish have some kind of hierarchy thing, you know, the king and all of the people under there. So they have the same thing. So they love to play with you in school. So I have ten of them. I had twelve of them. So the story is. Uh, I, 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 I am hoping that I used to, uh, raise, you know, flower, uh, flower horn over there. So I'm like, like my 14 years of aquarium hobby, I used to spend eight years in flower horn and other is like other six years in all of the goldfish and, you know, all of the, uh, guppy, uh, all of the fish in, in local aquarium store. So. I always had something for, you know, the blue ram, electric blue ram, blue akara, blue gurami. In my country, it's not that much available. People don't use to, you know, interest in it. But those people who are interested, whenever they arrive, this fish arrives in my country, all gone in one day. In 24 hours, all gone. So, we, I can afford it also. It was expensive in my country because it's rare. So, when I, uh, when I, uh, I, I brought this aquarium, I thought I will buy some discus. So I brought three discus. One, uh, every, each of them is forty dollars. So unfortunately, the discus have hunger strike, and two of them died, and one alive. And he's so much, you know, sassy. So uh, I I give three types of food like Bibra, Haikari, Gobita, and Tetra. He he, used to, I think he it's he. So the fish usually eat all of it, like a little, a little, a little. So I think he enjoys tetra a lot, not haikari. People say haikari, this goes like haikari, but they don't. Um, my one don't. So about the uh, silver moon fish, moony fish, they have the haikari. So they, when they arrive over here, they have some kind of fighting. So after the fight, you know, the top of the fin and the tail fin, nine of them had bite, like, it's like thrown out. And one is fine. So he's the king. So all of the, you know, the swimming thing, one, actually one, one fish is maintaining all of the herd. So after they arrived, uh, like two of them is died. I, I brought 12 of them. Well, first I brought four, then I brought eight. So when I brought eight, they have so much fighting, you know, first group, second group. So two of them died and 10 of them is doing fine. Last three months, they are doing so much fine. So. After that, I think like I have, I, 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 I found out they're selling, they have new stock of uh, electric blue ram. I was like, wow, that's beautiful. So I brought some and everything was fine. And after a while, they don't, they start, they stop uh, eating and all of them are like, you know, gradually dying, skinny out and they're dying. So I found in the internet that, um, what I can say, the uh, apple fat vinegar and ginger used to help it because metronidazole and uh, uh, tetracycline, oxytetracycline, and neomycin, nothing is working over there. So when I give it uh, over here, you know, uh, apple cider vinegar and uh, and garlic. In one hour, the water turned to dark, and all of the fish have you know mouth, tail, everything got uh, you know fungus. I was like, shit, they all gonna die. Then I just I you know I, I was so much you know afraid. Then I I change all of the water, everything, and give the heater to. Uh, 30 degrees Celsius and after one or two hours everything was fine I was so happy that they're alive so then I, I, I was thinking like yeah so now what I'm gonna do so I brought some you know the most uh, favorite fish of mine is electric blue okra I never saw it in my country so I found out uh, over here there's someone breeding over th uh, this fish and he have a lot of it so one of them is five dollars so I brought ten of it and you know I thought they're gonna fight. I I have a spare thing over there so that if if they fight, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep, keep move it over there. But they're not fighting. You know, this fish, silver one of the fish, they used to you know fight with any kind of fish who have long fin. 
so i brought a, a big uh, discus is so big, no a big angel fish you know red-headed angel fish so much beautiful i just put it over there in in in, in 30 minutes or like the discus fish uh, the angel fish all of the fin wipe out by them so they're like constantly attacking and the fish is like he going to die over there so i move it to my another thing but he gradually died so yeah that's a bad story so the this fish no don't like those fish who have long fin or you know the biteable fin they don't like it so even though even though discus and uh, my discus is so sassy that they don't mess with but sometime i saw that they used to try to bite the discus fin and discus you know fight back so then i brought some golden ram then i brought some german ram then i brought some short body ram and uh, electric blue grammy all of them together in a in a aquarium and it's like not a monster comedy tank not a kitchen comedy tank but it's you know the rare fish comedy tank and none of them are fighting i was like so happy about them so the two important thing in this fish is if they eating well if they swimming well and third one is if they don't have any kind of you know fungus or something like that without their tail because they're going to bite every week they bite each other tail so that you know they maintain the hierarchy they are fine and you know they grow fast i believe last 3 months you know those those bigger one who lead the herd they are gaining so many weight i i am feeling that you know i brought that much and now this that much so the blue okra and the german ram they used to used to live in the you know the low one and uh, the mosquito money fish always in upside but sometimes when they get bored they come down so the another important thing is when the light is up or when they are sleeping they turn into black and when you 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 switch on the light after few hours they back to the own color so if you when you you know close the light and they are sleeping it's quite you know i i if if i you know in a night if i open the light it's black it's not like silver moon is something else it's it's quite you know fascinating the change color so early so in this whole aquarium it's 80 gallon tank and they are doing fine i have canister filter i have hope filter so you know all of it uh, combined i i used to change uh, water in 2 months so i only change water once till now in 3 months and they are doing fine actually so you know uh i i always have admiration for discus and you know the uh, ram fish electric ram and other kind of ram fish but when i saw them in in the in the shop i was like how much 8 dollar i'm going to buy it so i thought it 30 dollar because in general it's 20 to 30 dollar and you know i i thought that it, it it is a salt water aquarium fish when i know that it can live in this like you know fresh water is like okay i'm going to have it a lot So yeah, you know, they are the most important thing is if you are over here, they will come to you and they will try to you know communicate with you or something like that. They are they are so curious. They try to constantly, you know, swim and come to you and you know the it's like they want to something they want to say something to you. So they are so friendly in that way. You know, they have like you know electric blue ram or other fish. They don't have interest in me, but this fish always have interest in me. If they come to me. and you know some of feel like they are trying to say something for me so i used to give food a lot but you know the the food it you should not give every day like uh, people say that give food every day it's good for fish they are you know salt water fish they don't have like every uh, food every day they used to you know go to the coral and find the food so i think when you are giving food that much easily in 24 hours only once one time it's a good thing i am giving that to you know you have to maintain the water parameter because in salt water it's unlimited you know water but over here it's fresh water so it's limited so you have to maintain the nitrogen so yeah i was bored with flower horn for 8 years so i try to make an you know experiment so i did the experiment with a lot of fish you know blue okra electric blue okra german ram gold ram short body ram electric blue ram discus gurami all of it make it a good one i i just feel like i'm happy because i i did all the rare fish in together and they're doing fine i know that they're going to grow up and they're going to fight or something like that yeah i will i'll make another tank that that and that time but right now i feel have i feel happy because last three months it's like good journey and electric blue okra they're developing colors they're in juvenile right now every day they're looking so good you know they're beautiful fish and German ram, short long body and short body, they are also like you know the peaceful one. 
Uh, I'm going to add some discuss probably the melon discuss and you know the what you can say um the orange discuss and turquoise. Uh, I'm going to add three or four discuss. You know, eighty thousand thank you is enough for them. But you know those fish, those small the silver money fish, they are so much beautiful with you know the you know they have some kind of yellow fin and also red fin. Two or three of them have red fin. I don't know that age thing or something. But yeah, some some of some of them have red reddish type of uh, color, and they they fast so fast that you can catch them. I try to catch for you know, uh, for moving to another area, but it's it's hard to catch. You know, if if you're gonna uh, run with them, uh, try to catch them, probably they're gonna hurt. So I don't I don't move them to the other area. It's like let's go make it something community, and yeah, neuromycin, tetracycline, and metrodinazole. And the water temperature is always in 30 to 28 to 30. You know, discuss another fish need uh, a little bit high temperature, and you know they used to bite each other fin in every week, so that's why they need more temperature for that. So all of it together, it's a good fish, good aquarium, uh, hobby experience for me. So any kind of uh, what I can say, any kind of uh, any kind of uh, suggestion or any kind of experience you have to get in through, just let me know. I will. I'll give, try to help you and I'll try to make sure that your fish gonna have a good, you're gonna have a good experience like me. Bye bye. Um, so I say uh, Merry Christmas. It's it's like Christmas Eve and uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Uh, I wish in next year you're gonna have a good and best experience with your fish. Have a good day.